So if I told you that I had a car waiting for you on the East Coast, free and clear yours, all you had to do was fly yourself out there, who would go, right? Of course, we go out there, it doesn't matter, it's a free car. That's what the Warrior Scholar Project is, except unlike a car, it doesn't depreciate. Its value stays the same and it gets bigger as much as you use it. And what they do is they take you, and just like you were taken at boot camp or rec recruit training, wherever you went, just like you became a soldier, or became a Marine, or became an airman, or became a sailor, they take you and they make you into a student. They have you learn from the best professors in the world. They haze you with academic knowledge. They show you how to read like a college student. They show you how to take the information that you're presented with in class and dissect it, pull it apart. They mold you into these reading machines, into these writing machines that take that discipline, that intensity that we've learned from the military and apply it to the college problem. We've learned writing skills and reading skills and study skills that I never even imagined I needed. It was amazing. The first day <laughs> was a good punch in the face. And I can say that even though I came in with a fairly high bar, this has pushed it to the next level. And particularly with the critical reading and analyzing skills of text, like it, that I can't say enough about that. No one has ever taught me those skills before. The students coming in don't even know their own power. They come in the first day and you see it grow. You see their awareness of their ability to stand toe to toe with these academic giants. You see it, them realize it the, themselves. And that turning point moment is why we do this. When I enlisted in the Marine Corps, I, all I wanted to do was I wanted to fight for this country. You know, I, I, I wanted that experience, that life experience of making a difference. And I really didn't know why. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know what, what I was really fighting for. I didn't know the rights we had, um, the restrictions. A lot of us put our li life on the line for democracy. You know, we, I thought I knew what democracy was, you know, the label democracy, liberty, and freedom. And uh, I think they're one and the same, they're analogous to each other, but uh, in reality, they're not. And the, all these readings that we did, you start to see like just how complex it is. And, we don't look at ourselves as a charity. We look at ourselves as an organization that provides a challenge for veterans and an organization that helps us as a nation utilize the incredible resource that is our veteran community. Just like anywhere else in the military, the Brotherhood, it goes wherever you go. I felt it here. You know, everybody was working together from the tutors to the students to the professors, you can, I, I can feel the vibe that everybody wanted to be here and everybody was here to help each other. They're magnificent examples of students and, I, and that, that was what I expected and that's what I saw. This program has given me so much confidence. I feel comfortable writing an academic essay. I feel comfortable being in a classroom with students, uh, something I, I didn't feel comfortable doing before coming here. It gave me the confidence that I can go back to school and succeed and do well. I leave here knowing that, you know, if, if I want to do something, it's not too far out of reach, you know, it's, as long as you put your mind to it, you can definitely achieve it.